In this video, I'm going to be talking all about airbrush quick connects and whether or not you should use them. Let's get into it right now. So you can get airbrush quick connects in all sorts of brands. This one here is just a generic brand. I've used plenty of the cheap ones over time and they do eventually start to leak, but they last long enough for the price that you pay. If you want something that's gonna last you a bit longer, then by all means you can purchase a branded one. You will find that they will cost you a lot more. You can see there's two parts to it. You've got the male end, this part that screws onto the end of your airbrush. And then the female section, which has a sleeve, you've got the other end, which will screw onto your air hose. So as an example here, you can see I've just screwed the air hose onto my airbrush. Air's pumping through and it's ready to go. Now that's fine if you're just gonna be using the one airbrush. By all means, you don't necessarily have to run a quick connect, but let's say you wanna switch your airbrush over and you're not wanting to run a manifold. Then if I now unscrew this, you can already hear that air leaking out. and now we've got the air seeping out. An easy way to prevent this is just by kinking the hose, but obviously that's not ideal. You could begin to damage your hose over time. The other option would be to undo the connector, therefore you're stopping that airflow. But let's say I now fit the quick connect onto the bottom of the airbrush and keep in mind that you can buy numerous ones of these which are cheaper than buying the whole assembly and just fit these to your airbrushes. So if you've got three or four brushes, fit the male section onto the end of your brush. Then you just need the one adapter where you can just click them in and out. So now that the male part of the adapter is fitted to my airbrush, I'm now going to fit this female section and this I'm just gonna screw on by hand if you wish, you can also put some Teflon tape around the thread to prevent any sort of leakage. Make sure that's tight. And this is the real beauty of running the Quick Connect. You can plug your hose in and you can see I'm no longer getting any leaking air coming out of this. So now to hook it back up, you just push those two together and we're ready to paint. To disengage the hose, pull down on the sleeve and just release it like that. So it's super easy and you can now easily run multiple airbrushes using the Quick Connect system. I think one of the biggest advantages when running the Quick Connect is that if you are going to put your airbrush back in the holder and you happen to trip on the line, you can see it's easily gonna pull out your airbrush and that's gonna fall down on the ground. That's why I recommend using this part of the holder which keeps it more steady. That said, with either option, if you have the quick connect disengaged, now if you trip over the hose, it obviously doesn't matter because it's not attached to the airbrush. Therefore, there's no chance that you're gonna risk pulling that out of its holder and potentially damaging your needle and nozzle. So you can see by having all of these different airbrushes fitted with the male part of the quick connect, I'm able to easily pick whichever one up, hook it up, and I'm ready to paint. So obviously, alternatively, you could go and get yourself a manifold like this and hook up each individual airline, especially if you've got numerous airbrushes. You know, perhaps you're a t-shirt artist and you're running separate hoses for each one and you, you really don't have time to disconnect using the quick connect, then this option is great. But then you've got to keep in mind that for each connector, you are going to need a separate hose. So that's going to be a lot more expensive than just getting some male quick connects and running with that one female adapter on the one hose. The other thing, if you like using this moisture trap underneath your airbrush, you can also hook that up like so. Again, go finger tight, then get the male part of the quick connect, screw that on, and then you can plug female in like that, and you're good to go. So I hope this video has helped you make up your mind whether or not airbrush quick connects are something that you want to use on your airbrushes. To continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.